The levy is gone and there's no one here to help you now. Hi, I'm John McCann from Survivor Resources. I thought I would shoot a quick video today in regards to orienting a map with a compass. Now, I'm often asked, do you have to have a compass to orient a map? Well, of course not, but if you don't have a compass, then you have to have landmarks, and we call this terrain association. This is where you use different type of land features or landmarks in order to determine where you are on the map. Now, I've hiked everywhere from the Catskills to the Adirondacks to the Swiss Alps, and oftentimes when I'm hiking, I'll come upon some people and they'll be doing this. And I, I walk up and I go, what are you doing? And they go, well, I'm trying to orient the map using land features. And I, I explain to them sometimes that, but you're deep down in the woods. There really are no land features that you can identify. You can't see any mountains. You can't see any peaks. You can't see any rivers. So that's one of the problems with trying to orient a map without a compass, is if you don't have features that you can see, then what do you do? This is when we orient a map with a compass, and this is much more accurate. So what I want to do today is show you very simply how to orient your map with your compass. Let's get some close-ups on this, and we'll see exactly how this is done, and you'll be able to do it very easily after watching this video, hopefully, anyway. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to explain exactly how to adjust your map using a compass. But before we get into that, what I'd like to do is discuss magnetic declination. Now, I did a video a while back called Magnetic Declination Demystified, and it really shows you how to understand or helps you to understand magnetic declination. But for what we're going to discuss today, I, I, I just want to touch on it. If you look down here on the map, you will see a magnetic declination scale. Okay, there it is you'll see that there's true north which has a star on it right at the top and then there's magnetic north over here now if you look it tells you on most of these maps exactly what it is here it's 12 and a half degrees okay what you have to keep in mind is that it depends on how old your map is whether this magnetic declination scale is good okay there's a lot of different changes in magnetic declination what it depends on is where you live on earth Okay, it could be anywhere from 2 to 2.5 degrees over 100 years, or it could actually be 1 degree every 3 years. So what you want to do whenever you get a map, check the date, see how new it is, and then I recommend that if you go to our website, survivalresources.com, and you look at our links page, and you go all the way to the bottom of the links page, there's a link there to go to a magnetic declination calculator. And all you have to do is put in the zip code or the latitude and longitude of what your map is for, and it will tell you the exact declination for that area for this year. And you want to compare that to this one. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you exactly how to orient the map using your compass. The first thing you have to understand that not everybody orients their map using declination lines. Now, I do with all my maps, and I show how to do this in my video magnetic declination demystified but let's say you have not done this on your map for whatever reason you don't want to it's a new map what you have to do is you have to use the lines on the side of the map now these lines on the side of the map are always true north that's one thing you have to understand now what you have to understand secondly is that your compass looks at magnetic north we know that so when you look at your scale at the bottom here you will notice on the magnetic declination scale that it shows you if it's east or west and it shows you that by whether it's to the left or to the right of true north in this case you will notice it's to the left all you have to do to remember how to adjust your compass and what direction to turn the bezel is to look at this magnetic declination diagram at the bottom of your map and here you will see it's to the left 12.5 degrees so what you will do, you take your compass, you see right now it's set on zero, we're pretty close. Okay, what you will do is you will turn your bezel to the left, 12.5 degrees, which should be right about there with my old man eyes. You now set at 12.5 degrees. 
You then take the compass, now that it's adjusted for declination, and you will set it so that it is facing north, this is facing north, north on the map, and you will set it on the side of your map. So it is lined up perfectly with that true north line. Then all you have to do is rotate your map and compass without either of them moving until your magnetic needle is in the orienting arrow. Now what that means, if I call it the red needle is Fred, and I call the orienting arrow the shed. So once you have red and red, Fred and the shed, your map is now perfectly oriented with the terrain where you are. Once you've done this, you will now be able to look in any direction on this map and you will know exactly what's over there, whether you can see it or not. You will be able to know that, okay, over here there's a river, over here there's a mountain, over here there's railroad tracks. So now you will know exactly what the train around you looks like, even though maybe you can't see it. Okay, let's do one more here. In the event that you have put your lines on the map, like you'll see here, I have my orienting, magnetic orienting lines on here. In this case, it's much easier because all you have to do is put your compass on zero, north. And then you will take that, making sure that north is facing north, and put it on any one of these magnetic lines. And again, you merely turn the map until such time that the magnetic needle is within the orienting arrow, which right now it is. And again, your map is perfectly oriented. So the advantage, I guess, of having the lines on here, many more reasons that they're handy to have on here, but one of them is you, all you have to do is put your compass on zero. You don't have to adjust the compass at all in order to orient your map. And the other thing you have to remember is that if you don't have these lines on your map, then you have to use one of the lines on the outside of the map, one of these here, and that you have to adjust the map, or you have to adjust your compass for the declination before lining it up on the map. It's that simple. Well, there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video today in regard to orienting your map using your compass. Very accurate way to orient your map. As always, I thank you for joining us. Be sure to check out our website at survivalresources.com. Check out our articles, our products. I thank you for all your continued support to our store, to our videos, to our articles, and I'll see you next time around.